Welcome back. So this is gonna be like a quick little video. Um, I wanted to show you guys something like I, you know, this is gonna be quick. It's gonna be a quick little video. But I wanted to show you guys something I just got delivery in the mail from Daisy Rose. Um, I will have the video linked below, but I did a review and a what's in my bag of the Daisy Rose brown sugar tote bag. It's supposed to be a dupe for the um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM size. And Jared surprised me. I kept talking about the cream colored one. It was back in stock. These are never in stock. I will have links for you guys below so you guys can snag one before they are gone. I'm not kidding when I say they go really, really fast. And I'm trying to do this video really, really fast because Grayson woke up from his nap and now he's sleeping on the couch. I was in the middle of, he like fell back asleep. I was in the middle of folding laundry when the delivery guy came. But Jared surprised me by ordering me the cream colored one. I kept talking about it and he surprised me. So I wanted to show you guys do an unboxing. I am kind of nervous because people were talking about the yellow stitching on the bag. Um, so I'm hoping there is no yellow stitching, so that might be a deal breaker for me. But okay. And so far, the packaging, the way it's like shipped, is a lot different than from Walmart. The brown checkered tote one I got from Walmart.com, and it arrived totally different. And then this one is from. Um, the actual Daisy Rose website. I will have both of them linked below for you guys. Oh my goodness. It's like really, really in there. He did also order me, um, I had showed you guys the little coin purse that matched this bag. Um, so he decided to order me the coin purse that matches the bag I already have too. Okay, I see the little coin purse. I wasn't sure if they were both in here. A lot different packaging than Walmart. For sure. I love the tissue paper they have. The Daisy Rose. I love that. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. Look at it. So now I have the matching one for the other bag. Let me see if the zipper works. Oh, it does. Works perfect. It does have the little clasp on the inside. Love the hardware on this. Did have some foam in there. Oh, two foams. And it does say the Daisy Rose on the inside. I'm sorry if it doesn't want to focus very well. Let's see if the class or the zipper works really well. A little stiff right there. But it's pretty good. Okay, so here it is. It arrived a lot different than the other one. Oh, I've been wanting this one forever. This is one I wanted this one originally when I saw it last summer. So I thought it would be perfect for the summer. But then it became fall when they finally got back in stock, and so I ordered the brown colored one. So I thought this one would be really cute for the uh, spring and summer, but I guess you could also use it in the fall and winter as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, same roll in there like the other one did. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's so cute. It does have like a, the yellow stitching is not there anymore. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy about that. I did not want the yellow stitching. So cute, it does have in the um, white checker, or the white squares, it does have like, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's like a um, either a beige or a goldish um, tint to it. And everyone, reviews that, were watch that I was watching, um, people were talking about how it had somewhat of a like pinkish tint to it. I do think this bag does give off a pink tint. Like, I really do. Like, it's definitely a pink tint. It's so cute. It's so big. I can't even fit it all the way on there. Really, really cute. I really like it. And it does, like the other one, come with the little detachable pouch. Let's check this zipper. Perfect. It doesn't snag or anything. Oh. So, so cute. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. If you guys are interested in any of the Daisy Rose bags, um, I will have everything linked below for you guys. I think these are really good investments, especially if you want to see what a Neverfull kind of feels like because they are really good dupes for them. Um, I've never got to actually hold like an actual Louis Vuitton Neverfull, so I can't really compare it to that. But from everything I've seen personally and all the reviews I've seen, um, they're a really good you know, dupe for it. So. Yeah, you guys should check them out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.